Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. In today's video, I will be uh, painting Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story. And in my first video, I'm actually gonna go ahead and do this series in parts because each nail takes me <laughs> about an hour to an hour and a half so it is pretty time consuming you know all the details and it is my first time you know creating toy story nails so i do i am a little slow so just be patient with me so i decided to go ahead and make it like a series it'll be a toy story series and it'll be five parts because i'm doing five different nails the first part was woody and i'll be sure to leave him linked in the description box below and this part two is Buzz Lightyear. Part three, four, and five, I will go ahead and leave up to you guys. Um, I actually asked you guys to go ahead and comment down below in one of my shorts and tell me which character you would like to see next. And some of you said Buzz, some of you said Slink. So here's Buzz. And, um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and do Slinky next. And the last two, you guys go ahead and decide for me. Leave a comment down below. Tell me which Toy Story character you would like to see me create. Okay, and I'm so glad that you're here. And I hope you enjoy. So I do want to go ahead and just thank everybody that has supported my channel once again. Thank you for subscribing, all my subscribers. I appreciate you guys more than you know. I always get so excited when I show my husband, look babe, look how many subscribers I have. And you know, we're a team together with this channel. Like he is my absolute backbone. I love him so much. Um, he has just supported me, you know, since day one with, you know, buying my nail stuff and just having my back with everything. He started me with my channel and he's encouraged me to just keep pushing forward with my nail art. He's always just encouraging me just to keep practicing and here I am now because of him and you know because of you guys you guys are just absolutely amazing i appreciate all of you and if you have not subscribed yet please consider subscribing to my channel i do press on nails on my channel i'm starting to do nail art uh, i will consider doing gel x nails in the future it's kind of hard for me because i like to have my nails done all the time so i'm always constantly changing my nails on my hands so that is a little bit up in the air but you know just go ahead and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already good vibes here only and i just love to do nails my husband has been supporting me for the last i want to say four years that i've been doing nails I, I really couldn't tell you how long i've been doing nails i've been doing them for a while um i first started watching videos on youtube and then i started painting my nails with regular polish and that was kind of a pain you guys if you have used regular nail polish you know how annoying that is to wait for it to dry and smudging and oh that was annoying but i went from regular gel from regular polish to actually not gel polish i went from regular polish to i want to say the gel the builder gel and then that was a little difficult to start off with but i mean that was the next step i went and then you know i went ahead and after that i went to the gel x method that's when i started seeing the beatles gel x dupe and i was like amazed with it and then i was kind of back and forth with the gel x dupe and dip powder i did dip powder for a really long time and I haven't done acrylic because I don't like the smell of monomer like it just ugh, I don't like the smell of it I can't stand it so when I would go to the nail salons and get my nails done it was hard for me to sit still because it would always make me cough like the nail tech would be like stop coughing and I'm like I'm sorry I can't help it like I just could not handle the smell of monomer 
So my husband just went ahead and started me off, you know, with regular polish and then the builder gel and then dip powder so that I could go ahead and take care of my nails myself at home. And it has saved me money because I'm not spending hundreds of dollars at the nail salon, but I've also just loved finding my hobby, finding my craft. I've never actually had you know a hobby to call my own until I've discovered nails and I've absolutely enjoyed the journey that I have traveled so far with this journey nail journey and I'm just so excited to show you guys so that you can follow along with me as I get better at it and you know I make mistakes all the time I'm not perfect I'm self-taught I'm literally a how do you say you watch and learn a visual learner that's me so I was just constantly watching nail videos I'd start off with Natalie Carmona a love for nails long hair pretty nails nails slayed by Val and so many others shout out to just all those ladies you you ladies are amazing and I'm here also not just from my husband not just for my subscribers but I'm here because of you as well and I you you ladies have taught me how to go ahead and strive forward and to keep going and I appreciate you ladies thank you and um, I'll make sure to leave their channels in the description box below so that way you guys can go ahead and check them out if you haven't already I'm sure you have they're great and I encourage you to go and check out their channels so anyways I just want to go ahead and let you guys know that when we reach 1,000 subscribers here on my channel I am gonna go ahead and do a US only giveaway I'm sorry for my international subscribers or my international watchers but it has to be US only okay but I still appreciate all of you that are international supporting my channel thank you so much and I want to go ahead and do a giveaway at a thousand subscribers so please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on that opportunity and also just subscribe so that because you just love to watch nail content don't subscribe just because you want to enter the giveaway okay I want to make sure that a subscriber that does win they are here because they're genuinely here to watch my channel and learn from my channel just as much as I have learned from other ladies channels okay so go ahead and please hit that subscribe button and hit the like button as well to help push my videos out there to others that want to learn nail art want to learn how to make press on nails or just love watching nail content in general like me and I don't know about you guys, but I like to watch videos that talk when I'm cooking dinner, when I'm making breakfast, you know. I like to just put on my nail videos and just listen to the girls talk. I love listening while I'm busy doing, you know, what I need to get done at home. And you guys let me know how you feel. If you like a lot of talking throughout the whole video, you like music only, I've tried doing Watch Me Work where it's just the music. I've done half and half music and talking. I haven't done a full video of me talking. This is probably the most I've talked in a video period. So let me got, let me know you guys down in the comments what you guys like to watch because I want to go ahead and please you guys, you know, keep you guys interested. I don't want to bore you, annoy you. Just let me know how it goes, what you enjoy. Okay, so thanks again for being here and I will be back here in a bit. To mention that the gel polish that I'm using for all my nail art is either from Beeble Beebles, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> is either from Beatles, <laughs> Rosalind, 
Um, who else do I have? I have just Beatles and Rosalind, actually. And my base coats are from Savvyland. My top coat is from Savvyland. I have them in my Beatles gel polish bottles, but that's because I buy the bigger container and I just refill my bottles. So I'll make sure to leave those down below in the description box. I do use just the kits, you know, from Amazon. My husband purchased them for me probably three years ago now. The little tiny bottles. So that's what I use. I don't, I've never used painting gels. So I really can't tell you the difference between gel polish and painting gels. I'm not familiar with painting gels. Maybe in the future I'll purchase painting gels. But for right now, the gel polish has done pretty well for me. So if you're a beginner, don't feel like you have to go out and buy a bunch of stuff. Um, just use what you got and just, you know, be creative with that. That's what I'm doing. And it's worked pretty well for me. And, you know, don't feel pressure to buy the most expensive because Beatles and Rosalind and Savvyland for me are really affordable and they're really great quality products and I'm really happy with that. Maybe in the future, you know, I will consider buying the higher end and, you know, the well-known brand names, but for right now, this is what I have and I'm using it and it's working great and so I just want to encourage you that want to go ahead and get started on your nail journey to just start off you know start off slow you got to start somewhere and that's what has happened with me I've started you know from little to nothing and here I am now and for me this has been a great journey maybe I'll make a video of you know a slideshow of me showing how my nails had turned out when I very first started all the way up until now I see the progress I love the progress my husband is just so proud of me he's always just encouraged me to do better and I do and I'm just I love it I absolutely love doing nails it just is so so soothing and I just absolutely love it. I can't say how much I love it enough. <laughs> so I just want to go ahead and just let you guys know now that when I'm finished with my little buzz, that after he's cured, I am gonna go ahead and top coat him with my Savvy Land top coat that is in my Beatles gel polish bottle, like I said before. And then after that, I am going to go ahead and show you side by side him and Woody because that's what I've done so far. So please leave a comment down below. Um, go ahead and comment. Let me know if you got to the end of the video with, let's see, go ahead and comment anything. Just comment anything, an emoji, a smiley face, something, just any character. You don't have to leave you know a full description comment just leave some kind of emoji and that lets me know that you made it to the end so i appreciate you guys and make sure if you are going to comment feeling generous make sure to let me know what character you want to see next okay the third nail is going to be slink okay that's already set in stone so the third and uh, no the fourth and fifth nail is completely up to you guys so don't be shy let me know what toy story character you would like for me to create next and I, again i appreciate you guys consider subscribing if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one bye